Ain't no last calls here. Bar Talk with Jay. Welcome to Bar Talk with Jay, and of course I got Crab Maddox in the building. Right hey, bro. What's happening, man? How you doing, bro? Man, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm always good, right? I know, man. You're always dapper. Yeah, another another blessed week. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that, man. Yeah, man. How was your week, bro? Man, let me tell you, I was dragging. Okay. Until I got on this show. I'm right. telling you right now. <laughs> you do all what you do. And I, I was upstairs, and I had to say to myself in the mirror, I was like, you know something? Do you love this? And I'm looking right. at the mirror, and I'm just waiting for the mirror to say something back, right? Then I knew I was crazy. Right. It didn't say nothing, but I said something. Yeah. I said, yes, I do. And I start getting dressed, and I start doing it. And it, it just takes that motivational looking at yourself, asking yourself, right. if you love it, why are you complaining? Why right. ain't you doing it? Right. And I start putting my clothes on, and I start getting, next thing I start getting more energy, and start getting hyped. But I was just dragging early for some strange reason. It happens. It happens. You get on everybody's back, right? Yeah. How right. you get it off is when you face yourself. And look for yourself to make change. There you go, man. Listen, I look in the mirror the same exact way, man. Mm -hmm. No matter how I feel, how my body feels when I get out of bed, when I look in that mirror, mm -hmm. I see something magical. And I'm always speaking positive words over my life and over my day. And, uh, you know, within five minutes, I'm a completely different person than the mm -hmm. person who just got out of bed dragging, you know. Um, I start getting fired up about what is to happen for today and uh, start visualizing and talking about it and and uh, I just got a ritual that I do every morning and uh, really it's just about filling up your tank you know mm. what I mean it's just about you know an empty tank would take you nowhere so you got to fill up your tank and you do that by inspiring yourself every morning and uh, by declaring your truths maybe doing a prayer maybe doing a meditation but what you do first thing in the morning sets precedent for the entire day Makes sense to me. You know, if you don't get that work done and you start your day and trouble comes, mm -hmm. then <laughs> you, yeah, you, you know, there's, there's nothing to uh, hold on to. You ain't got no gasoline, no fuel to fight the fight. Mm -hmm. And uh, next thing you know, you end up making mistakes and, you know, troubles happen. Yes. And oftentimes we don't see the, uh, the relationship between our lack of preparation and how challenging life can be. Uh, when you get prepared, somehow your spirit will, will remove all the nonsense out of your path. Preachy, preachy yeah, crap. Oh, preachy. Well, listen, I'm about to go on the super consciousness program. Yeah, I, ain't know that. That. Yeah. I need it. I need it. Folks, this is uh, Bar Talk with Jay. Yes, it is. And uh, this is my man, Smooth Jay. Hello. I am Craftmatic, and uh, we are here to inspire. That's exactly what we are born to do. And uh, we think that through dialogue, just simple dialogue about a subject that will open your mind, will open your heart, will help you make better decisions about tomorrow. And so we just want to be a mirror to, uh, to real life and talk about real subjects and uh, some of our subjects are a little edgy but uh, <laughs> yeah, but like but that. ultimately they're happening in all of our lives and nobody's talking about it and so Jay and I you know we have the uh, I don't know I guess we have the passion or the purpose maybe we just a little bit crazy on the on the edge we crazy right but what we talk about adds value to everybody and uh, we want nothing but love for all our listeners and for all the people in the world so we just bring it from a different perspective but let it be inspiring mm -hmm. and uh, with that let's uh, kick it off with a short prayer shall we all right man go ahead and bring it off pastor all right just uh just a simple one to uh, the lord himself heavenly father we thank you for being with us tonight we uh, come to you tonight with our heads bowed and our hearts humbled asking that you would be here in this session and asking that you would open a doorway for all of our minds to move to the next level we know that father greatness is inside of us and we just ask that you would somehow open us up to our own greatness by changing our mind by lifting our spirits and by teaching us something new tonight even Jay and I, Lord, let us be on the panel of discussion and yet grow from each set of dialogue. And so we thank you for all of our listeners. We thank you for tonight. And we ask all these blessings in your son's name. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, boy. Right. Right. What a collection plate. <laughs> my man crap. Yeah. Hey, man. And listen, we kind of, we like the kind that fold, not the kind oh, that Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no quarters over here now. Right. We need y'all be throwing them, them, them big bills. Right, right. We want double digits on yeah. the of that thing, right? Well, I tell you what, man, that was very inspiring. Um, because when you said that, it, it reminds me of waking up my inner. Yeah. Your inner self. Um, a lot of times you, you pray for material things. But if you wake up your inner self mm -hmm. you will make all that manifest for you man jay you hit i mean nail right there, it's, bro. it's just waking you up that's I mean, it i watch people wake up all the time and they, and they passion stay sleep right 
They ain't come to work, they complaining, nobody wanna get do nothing, everybody gotta point the finger. Right. But you notice that person that come in, like myself, and I'm always why? They just know I'm on drugs. Right. <laughs> Drug test that man. Yeah. I'd be like walking in and I'd be hype and they'd be like, what makes you so hype? Because I'm happy every day I wake up because I got a chance to continue doing my blessing. Absolutely. Now that I woke up, I see things different. Absolutely. Complaining ain't one of the things I care to see no yeah. more. Yeah. When you talk about waking up, man, the first thing that hit me a moment ago is that um, we don't do prayer or meditation or affirmation or visualizations. We don't do any of those things for God. And what we do is we wake up ourselves and try to, to, to experience and embody more of God, right? Mm -hmm. We try to get closer to Him, and that's what it's about. It's not about changing God's mind, it's about changing our mind, mm -hmm. right? And waking ourselves up and uh, becoming conscious of that which you were formerly unconscious of. Uh, and oftentimes that's, um, you know, self-awareness. Hey, you know, I'm really not trying very hard today. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> I mean, it can go on and on and on, but um, I just believe, man, that speaking words of, of power will reveal that same power in your life. And uh, I think you said it right, you gotta wake up to the power because the power already exists. God is, therefore the power is, and when we open ourselves up to it, it becomes a part of us and works through our situations and circumstances. So uh, I encourage everybody, wake up with a prayer, get you an affirmation, uh, get you some little book that you can uh, open up every morning and uh, read some powerful words, say some kind words to yourself when you look in the mirror. Uh, it's all about getting yourself focused. And, uh, you know, I do it with prayer, among other things. But, you know, I was sharing with somebody the other day an old idea, mm -hmm. a very old idea for me. But my car is like a university on wheels. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not oftentimes allowed to listen to music. I don't allow myself to listen to music in the car. I have to put on a self-help tape. I have to put on one of those sales tapes or one of those motivational tapes or one of those Les Brown inspirational talks or one of those talks from, from you know, all the superstars that's on YouTube. There's a lot of those inspirational right. talks about, you know, how to be motivated and, and, and um, et cetera. Um, I, I, I just went into a space where I decided I would only allow new and positive ideas in my mind. And uh, I'm encouraging everybody to go into that space. There's got to be a space where you fill up the tank, like we were just talking about, you know? Man, you touched on something that, that I didn't even tell you all the time. I was listening to the radio all the time. You know, driving a truck, uh, going down the road, you don't want to get a uh, highway vision where you just keep looking at the lines. Right. So I started listening to the radio, but then I started listening to motivational. Yes. Um, and why I did that is because on the air, that's what we're trying to do. Right. We're trying to motivate and we're trying to capture a person where they can stay with us. Right. And when I notice a motivational speaker, they speak so well that it just hits your mind. Yeah. And again, how you talk and how you bring it out is how they receive it. And you got to talk differently to make people receive it differently. Right. So I started listening to their techniques for I can craft my own. Right. So it's not to copy, but it's to be better at what I want to Absolutely. do. So again, if you love something, start watching the people that you like for you can get more like-minded to change some of the things that you do. Because to reach somebody, they want to hear how you speak. Yeah, yeah, and that should be a central theme. Uh, I call it lifelong learning, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that should be a central theme in learning that uh, wherever you're trying to go, there's somebody who's already been there. And so by hearing their story and by seeing how they built the business or seeing how they behave in their family that you know it's it's like a, a role model you know we can't oftentimes depend on the role models that we have here in the world but if we go and seek those expertise that we don't have we'll cut down the learning curve and uh, make less mistakes you know? and to me it, it, exposure yeah it gives you greater exposure yeah uh, instead of in so the key. box so in key. the same old same yeah you gotta be out the box new ideas yes man. it yeah. keeps your mind being the creative mind that it is. Yeah. And I like to say a lot of times it's really handcuffed. Yeah. Because of us. Listen, and it's the difference between the good and the great. You go into rich people's house, mm -hmm. they read a lot. They read a lot. They're always studying, they're always um, thinking about uh, the betterment of life, right? Mm -hmm. They got new ideas flowing. They're always trying to apply the new ideas to what they're currently doing. And, uh, you know, whether you're an actor or a doctor or an athlete, you got to find, you know what I mean? you got to find a way to, uh, to you know, uh, I don't know, find the expertise. I guess we'll, we'll just say it like that. Um, i got so many things going through my head, man. I'm losing it's, my train of thought right here. Like Listen, on top I, I love doing this show, man, because I don't feel like there's anywhere else in the world that I get what we give to our audience. Oh, yes. 
You know what I mean? We really, really um, talk about stuff that people need to, that need on every uh, every moment part of their day. You know, just how to stay focused, how to stay positive. Uh, nobody's ever taught us how to think. And nobody's ever taught us how to manage our emotions. When you have these conversations, you, you are developed from the inside. And that's what I really love about the show. Uh, let's do a quick recap, man, on last week's show. Oh, you want to go back to that, eh? Yeah, that was a good topic. I didn't appreciate the topic when you first introduced it. Why, well, yeah, man! But now, the topic is like on fire. I tell you what, you say your part, because yeah. you know I did my part. Well, um, folks, what we talked about last week was... If you waited to have sex, mm -hmm. and then you realize that she has a greater sex drive than mm -hmm. you, right? Uh -huh. She might have a little more testosterone <laughs> than you, <laughs> right? Get but, out. but listen, this is my favorite part. What Jay said. Oh yeah. Jay said part two. Part was, two now. I, I got to jump in there. Oh, part two. Go ahead. What if you waited and you had sex for the first time and it was whack, <laughs> whack, <laughs> wasn't good at all? Okay. Horrible. And listen. What did you do? This is what I took from the discussion. I think this mm -hmm. was the central t theme of the dis of the answers to this question. Mm -hmm. And uh, before I introduce it, I'm gonna tell you I didn't like it. No, <laughs> right? you mean you didn't like it, crap? I mean, here's basically what people said. What's that? If you ain't got good sex, you gotta get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's just that's just throwing people away it, for, it, basically? For, for surface things. I did basically. not like that at all, man. I, I mean, think we gotta like have it. a little more. We gotta have a little more inner character than that man because okay. um you know sex i think ultimately everybody is capable of great sex but most people aren't exposed most believe okay. me or not, most people aren't listening. exposed okay. to good sex you know okay. what i mean they don't know what it's like to have good sex and so if you meet one of those people it doesn't mean you can't help them and nudge them and and you know share with them and give them information and work through it Right, right, you don't right. just fire them after the first time or two, right? At least give it a second chance. Okay. Come on, Jay. I'm glad you lived. Come on, Jay. I'm just glad you didn't let them keep running on back up in there, Flip. <laughs> I'm just like, sometimes, you got to hit that note. Now, I'm, my See, whole thing is this. You are so correct because, again, I like to encourage a person. So, in, in, in making love, I got to get into that person. Okay. And I'm, and I'm trying to bring out the best of them. They try to bring out the best of me. Chemistry. So, we kind of go on with the chemistry and bringing that to the forefront. If I pull down them underwear and something hit this, this I got a big nose, bro. But if something hit ah, that, that fragrance, <laughs> that, 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 you know what I'm saying? Listen, buddy. <laughs> You gonna hit that dope blood. I can't kidding. keep playing around That's because a yeah, well no, you just said you just can't kick my Yes you can. There's it's limitations on certain things that I just can't really go there. But again, working with a person and, and, and building up a yeah. great sex, you know something? We're doing something together. And listen, I like that. The, but if I can't get past the smile, watch plan. this, watch this. The, mm. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, listen, and she don't think the same way about you. Exactly. You know what I'm right, if I so came in there mother, she should. That's a, that's a given, right? You can't take a shower before but you watch this. I, I apologize. Right, right. <laughs> but, 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 no. just because just uh, you don't have good sex don't mean you can't have a potential relationship, a potential lifetime partner, right? Good friend. Um, uh, now, here's the other thing we haven't addressed, What's just that? in the recap. Uh, you waited, and she has a greater sex drive than you. And I love what Jamal came yes, to the table exactly. with. Because Jamal was basically saying, listen, you need to get some education, fellas. Right? Go Think places. about those relationships that are, you know, 2, 5, 10, 20, 30 year relationships. And they're still having sex, but uh, it could be much better. And so you got to go and learn, you know, what turns a woman on. And the other part I like, TK said, is it is the man's responsibility to get the woman to, uh, to, the, to the levels that need to be gotten really? to. Right? Yeah, you gotta get her ready, and uh, you don't just, you know, it ain't just a hit and quit type yeah. thing. You gotta you got soothe it. You know what I mean? Jamal, Set it up all day. Yeah, that that's what he said. Send the right text message mm -hmm. during the day. Maybe buy the flowers or take it to a nice dinner. You know what I mean? When yeah. you get home, have her put on the apron and do dinner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Crab nasty like me. That's what I'm talking about. See, y'all ain't know the side of crab. I know crab. I am not nasty. That's just, you know, that's okay. just. I'm, I'm nasty. That's, I don't know about crab. I'm nasty. That's regular <laughs> sex right there. Uh, regular nasty, then. Right? You gotta, you know, Count that's how you me. turn on the environment. So, uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just other proponent that, um, 
no matter, you know, if one or the other has a greater sex drive or if the sex is whack, I think you got to put some effort into it. And uh, when you start to put, when you start to like a person, the sex is really different. It's a different sex altogether, right? right? You build so, chemistry. Right. So if you like the person, you'll start to overcome some of that. And, you know, you'll learn each other. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, I've had women on many occasions to share their likes and their interests. Mm -hmm. And... Um, it's a wonderful thing because, you know, it's less guesswork, <laughs> right? <laughs> but most importantly, right. it's an opportunity to communicate. It's an opportunity to dialogue about it. And that will strengthen the sex whether it's better or not, right? It's all in the mind, really, man. It's all I, in the mind. I like the stimulation of the mind. True. Yeah. I, if you talk to a person and they're really into you, they get turned on from your They get words. turned on right there, man. So a lot of times when they say get a person in the mood, if they're really into you, yeah. A lot of times, just by seeing you, they yeah. automatically move. But to me, you got to keep them yeah. that way. Yeah. So the same and thing that made them feel that way, yeah. as in your conversation and involvement and making them feel safe. See, right. One of the things I'm going to give up to all the players out there real quick, women love to feel safe. Right. Make them feel protected at yeah. all times. And I'm telling you, boy, Absolutely. Mm, pop it, lock it, drop it. I'm just <laughs> trying to tell you all yeah. you can get when they feel protected. They, yeah. they don't want a weak person. Okay. And right. I ain't telling nobody to go out there and act cock strong and you ain't put on a, a, a muscle shirt and you ain't got no muscle, cut that out, okay? You're fooling yourself. Right. I'm talking about speak with confidence, uh, hold her at bay when people walk up, let her know you have her. Uh, don't let her just walk behind you, you know, let her walk on the side, protect it. Okay. Put that arm around it too, yeah. kind of low. That's it, And grab, it, grab that hip, let her know she's still sexy to you no matter what. Even if she gained a little bit, let, just rub that little bit let her know. That's a play on pimp. Yeah. Listen, you, you, go, know what, mm. you know what my ex-wife used to like, man? What's that? What's that? I used to bring her individual pieces of candy, mm. right? And, uh, she probably, and She's probably diabetic now. Grab do that on purpose. But she a level, but she a level high. <laughs> Eat that piece of candy, sugar. <laughs> it was romantic, man. Oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? And each you, piece did, of candy did you, had did you, a did you feed it? Had a certain did meaning. You, did you feed it? Uh, you know, during occasions, okay. you know what I'm saying? You slide that candy, that, that chocolate in her mouth. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking go. about. You showed her the Listen, Milky Way. <laughs> Grab nasty. You a nasty. No, man. I'm just talking about, I gave my almond joy. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, folks. What? Let's turn to candy. about candy bars, man. Listen, it was a dynamic show. And the way we discussed it, the way it came about, how we moved through the dialogue was just, I think, masterful. And, um, you know, there was some tension points in there, and uh, it seemed like this show was getting a little more and more intense every week. But Jamal brought some intention and yeah. intensity to the, to the show, as, as he always does, because that's who he is. And so uh, we're grateful for that. It was a good show. Go back and check it out. You can find us everywhere, folks. We are on bartalkwithj.com or Bar Talk with J on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Spreaker, Periscope, iTunes. We're all over the place. If you're looking for Bar Talk with Jay, we got nothing but dynamic material. Uh, we've been doing this for uh, nearly two years now, oh, yes. and uh, it has become, I think, my greatest works because uh, once you hear how we go in on these subjects, you're going to be inspired just like we are. Uh, let's cover real quickly tonight's topic. Uh, tonight, we're talking about, man, this is an interesting one. Um, I think this is an integrity show. That's what I call this an integrity show. Mm -hmm. You're on a date with your boo, mm -hmm. and you see your besties, you know, your besties, best friend or girlfriend or your wife, friend, right, right? You see them out cheating. Uh oh. Right? Your homeboy's girl is out with another dude. Uh oh. Okay? Here's what do you do? Right, do you mind your business or focus on your date? That's it. Uh, is it your business? So you should approach the cheater? That's B. Um, Get picture proof and send it to your bestie. That's C. Or D, play it cool as not to be rude, but snitch later. <laughs> <laughs> no snitch rule. Okay. I mean, I, like I said, this is an integrity show. And Ooh. so uh, let's talk about how you deal with the, the issue of integrity. So you see somebody doing wrong. Mm -hmm. It could be somebody stealing out the register at work. Or it could be mm -hmm. somebody stealing some... You know, some something from the job or whatever the case may be. Uh, how do you deal with it? Do you snitch? Do you just sit back and uh, lounge on it, or um, mind your business? Do you let somebody know? You know, do you mind your business? 
um, oftentimes it can depend on, you know, the circumstances. Mm -hmm. So, uh, listen, we're going to talk about that. Uh, again, this is Bar Talk with Jay. Uh, we're not going to go deep into the subject for two more segments because we got Mrs. TK oh, on the line. Well, she is now. super yeah. fire. And then we got our brother, uh, the good Reverend Dr. Jeffrey. He's going to be on tonight. Uh, so, uh, the next two segments are going to be awesome. You will not want to miss it. And before we get started, I gotta go back to my man Crash because I got TK on the line. What? <laughs> TK? TK, you gotta tell me why you got yeah. this man smiling so hard. You somebody better snitch up in here. I'm just saying. I don't know what's going on. I ain't no hater, right. but I'm just saying. Ain't nothing to tell, bro. Man, I'm trying to stir the pot. Ain't nothing to tell, man. The inquiring yeah. minds want to know. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm just fond of her, man. You know what I'm saying? Fine. Yeah, I'm just fond of her. Get your fond of her. <laughs> Did you grow up? I have to be careful with it. I'm just like saying. Introduce, man. You look like Trump. <laughs> <laughs> you look like one of them, them people that grab things. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, I don't, bro. You don't? No. You're respectful. Very respectful. Oh, bro. okay. That's probably how you got it. Yeah. But see, she a thug. <laughs> I love thugs. Right? I know, yeah, but she like to be grabbed. You heard her before. She like to be choked. She like to be doing some work. Miss TK, how are you tonight, man? Uh, I'm trying to find out how she is. <laughs> <laughs> trying to help you out, right? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing real good. Always excited about having mm -hmm. you in the studio with us. So, uh, what you got for us mm -hmm. tonight? Okay, for tonight, it is wedding season. Everybody is getting the wedding. Wedding blues, where they're inviting a tons of invitations. I have a dilemma. Okay. I have a friend. I have a friend who's very dear to me. That's getting married. Okay. However, her fiance is X is a mutual friend of someone else's that's near and dear to me. So now I have to choose if I'm going to say this person to be my plus one or I want it to be security. Hmm. Because I want to know is it fair? This is my friend. Now, my friend, they, they, people have relationships that go bad. Right. And this particular relationship went bad, and I feel like I'm stuck in the middle because my friend is friends with the ex. Hmm. Okay. Now, I have to choose. But for my friend, I want her day to go off without a hitch. Okay. Okay. Do you, what do you do in that situation? Okay. Let me uh, mm. let me just uh, reframe it a little bit just for our audience's sake. Um, I think what you're talking about is, uh, and this is not necessarily just a wedding scenario, but in a lot of situations, we get caught in the middle mm -hmm. where uh, two people are in disagreement or we have to choose sides. And, uh, you know, how do you deal with choosing sides? Now, in this particular case... I already chose my side. I just want to make sure you're clear. Right? There's no choice for me. You, my friend, I'm on your side, even if you're wrong. So there's no choice for me, but I just want to make sure that this mutual party... Does not make it difficult for my friend without me having to intervene in a physical manner. Okay. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Physical yeah. manner. Hey, listen. I told you she was spicy. Listen, when you got that kind of energy sitting up in a wedding mm. reception <laughs> area, woo, the block can get hot quick. <laughs> Hello. I know. Uh, so this is a wedding scenario, and uh, her friend is getting married, and uh, her mutual, her friend's ex has a mutual girlfriend. Friend, I can't exactly. You know, get it uh, exactly what you're talking about, but you're in the middle of some stuff. Yes, and uh, I, think right. you, I think you basically said the answer um, from what I heard, which was uh, that's your friend, and you're going to back your friend up, whether they're wrong or not. And uh, if relationships do change, and uh, people who were once your friend uh, may have done something foul or, you know, disappointed you, and you might have pushed them away a little bit. And so now your new friend's gonna set precedent over your old friend, it, and so you know I I completely get what you're saying. I I think it's I think it's really a matter of I don't know choosing. The, I want I'm gonna use choice. I'm gonna use choosing. Choose the person who you know is the most loyal. Mm -hmm. Choose the person who's gonna treat you like you would treat them. Um, 
Uh, and, and please don't fight at the wedding. <laughs> right? I ain't gonna lie, at least get it video, okay? Worldwide, what? World Star? Wait, I'm just saying. Wait till, you know, Everybody after the, at the end of the reception, after all the pictures been taken, and you know what I'm saying? I wanna see cake flying. No, I we don't wanna see half flying or cake flying or none of that stuff. Look at man, this bar talk, man. I like See, let me give you some. A very expensive dress, a very expensive pair of shoes, and to do, I don't wear makeup. Don't feel like I need to go to this event. I feel like I need to go to blue. I'm going to do what I've never done. I ain't ruining my good dress and my good shoes. Because I might be able to shoes and get that dress and fall up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. So, 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 Jay, how would you, uh, how would you? Oh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her some, some real bad advice, okay? Okay. Because this bar talks, you know, you, you don't. Oh, you, I'm, to go to my I'm just trying to say, you know, crap gave you some good advice. I'm gonna give you some bad stuff, okay? okay. Me, I, I get all the info I can, girl. Go ahead and just dig, okay? Get that girl and find out what really happened, okay? Get the good, the dirt, okay? Because you know, like oh. you wasn't good in bed. Don't get it all, girl. Get it all. Yeah. And then, <laughs> tell it, tell it. If you don't tell it, nobody else, tell me. I'll tell it to the world. I swear to God. <laughs> you got to start a pot, girl. I mean, she don't want to pick them. It ain't your fault. I mean, some, sometimes you got to see if they can handle the heat. You know what I'm saying? They stand in mm. the, 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 the kitchen. Just, you don't, I don't want to marry. I don't feel like it's going to be an issue. It's too many of us, meaning people who are similarly minded to uh. myself. Mm. That would be a dysfunction for anybody to misbehave. Well, you you security already because you know you. I don't know if y'all know this, TK Carey, okay? That, that girl carry everywhere. I mean, she go to the bathroom with it. <laughs> Where'd you go? It's just you in the bathroom, TK. You don't, she don't care. You run up on TK, I'm just trying to tell you. Two things gonna happen. Either she gonna pull out or she gonna put some Vaseline on. It's going down. That's why we call it TK. TKO. Somebody right. going down. Anyway. <laughs> you don't gotta worry about nothing happening on that fight. I mean, everybody know about you, girl. You there? It's all good. But I'm just saying, can I just stir the pot a little bit, girl? I wanna be, I wanna juice. be an extreme lady that day. The whole thing. I don't wanna be TK. I wanna be just TK. I just wanna be regular. Uh -huh. I don't want to be rough housing stuff with my good dress on that I pay good money for. Girl, I want to see so, that thing ripped off. What you talking about? Well, <laughs> Star, come on. So, we're about to have it going so, on. Am I invited? Can I come? Because if nobody else do it, I do it. I, I get on the mic. What's up? Can I be invited? Anybody invite me? Anyway, anybody? It's all quiet. It's church mouse out there. Yes, yes I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> all right. So, I invite y'all to my wedding. Yep, that means Whatever. I ain't coming because I ain't having this time. Church, church, cricket, cricket, right? That's right. right. So, so Miss TK, uh, it's very interesting how um, how aligned uh, our topic for tonight is and the subject you just brought up. Uh, here's a, our topic for tonight, and uh, without giving you the answers, I'm just gonna let you answer because uh, we have A, B, C, and D. But uh, here's the here's the situation: you're on a date with your boo, and you see your besties, boyfriend, or girlfriend out cheating. What do you do? Do they see me? <laughs> yeah, they see you, girl. You can't miss DK. If they see me, they see me. Right. Good question. They, they see you, TK. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make it real easy because we ain't going to go back. No, no, yeah, they see so, you behind. Let, let's have an answer yeah. both. both. If, they see me, if they see me, I do nothing because they're going to tell themselves. Okay. If okay. I see them, depending on the individual whose man it is. And how they are in that relationship. So you can go, I can go to one of my friends and say, Look, I've seen your man. And she's going to be like, Girl, and they're going to be angry with me. But then I have another friend, if I can tell him, It's come and get me, we finish cut it, we finish show out, we finish show out. So it just all depends on who you are, who that friend is to you, and what their mindset is in that, like, what that relationship is concerned. Because some people don't take that information too well. Right. Some people take it with, some people take what grain of they do what they're supposed to do. Right. But it's all depends on that particular friend and where she is in that relationship. Yeah, and I think that is probably the rightest yes. answer for the show. I think that mm. should, that that answer, uh, I think probably is going to set precedent for the show because it not. is all situational. No, no. Um, I want some snitching. Yeah. <laughs> I want some picture taking. I, I mean, want some it depends on who it is. Now, if you my real friend, I know you a real friend. Mm -hmm. I'm taking pictures. Yeah, I'm walking see. up to like you know, I'm gonna tell on you. Yeah. You don't call like you on the phone right now. Yeah. Okay. Snitch. You want to live? <laughs> when you see me, you try to hide. This is my friend. This is my cousin from out of town. But. Right. There are some friends I wouldn't say anything because I probably already did it with you before, right. and you got yeah. mad at me and said, Speak for six, seven months. I don't speak to you anymore right. because of it. It right. just simply depends. If it was me, depending on the four or five people that I consider my friends, they tell me they've seen my boots somewhere, 
I ain't got to work because the first initial whooping is already on it right. for her. Right. And they just went for that second round. Okay. Okay. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many friends you said you had, TK? I want to know how many whoopers each friend gonna get. Oh, uh, with TK? How yeah. many whoopers? It depends on how who sees him. <laughs> so this two or three of my homegirls are out and they're together, and they see him. He has to worry about those two or three friends that's out at the moment. Yeah. Because he has to eventually come home. Yeah, because that means round two is me. Yeah, okay, so listen. So what you're suggesting is your friends are gonna take it upon themselves to go and in, intervene in the situation, like right then. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. My friend. I told you they okay. My friend. Who are you? Where you come from? What you doing here? You know, he got a girlfriend. My friend and sister. They know together. And she, we just call and she on the way. You know what I mean? I don't think you should do that, but you can't. My friend is going to run it down. They're going to run it down. Okay. Listen, that's one way to address it, right? Yep. That's where I'm going out. I mean, you don't. I mean, you got a snitch and an ass whooping at the same yeah. time. <laughs> I don't never go around TK. Yeah, I don't never know how she gonna act. I'm right. telling you, that's what's going on. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, that's I'm, why I never dated TK. That's why right there. Yeah, I always dry snitching. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We call it dry snitching. Yo, dry snitching. Dry snitching. That's a, I like that term, Jay. That's, that's, snitch. that's snitching with uh, when nobody know you snitching. That's right. It's dry snitching. <laughs> that's a quiet snitch term. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Snitch on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, listen, I love your perspective on the subject. I think that um, I think it's right on point. Mm. Um, Everything she do but, right on point with you. But what I'd like to do is to just cover some of those variables tonight, and that's oh. what we're going to do in the second half of the show. Um, because if it's your best friend and he can take it, then you know you put it out there. If it's your best friend, he, yeah. If your best friend and he can't take it because he think maybe you got something for her, you know what I mean? Or you know, it, you know I, I guess best friends may not think that way, but you know, there's sometimes. Well, she wouldn't be my best friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, you a kind of just because you can't take it. I mean, it's still you can't cope. Yeah, I mean it's still a very okay. interesting subject. I'm I'm glad you I'm glad you uh, had an opportunity to share your dialogue. Any closing words for us tonight, sweetheart? No closing words. Everybody enjoy your holiday. Be safe and have a ball. Absolutely. That's Thank right. you so much, hon. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, man. I almost uh, I keep forgetting it is a holiday coming up, That's and right. uh, so right. we got Easter and April Fool's Day on the same day. I know, man. You gonna hear some jokes that day? That's kind of like Halloween, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Why you gotta say like Halloween? It's not my birthday. Why you pig and crying? Oh Lord, it's all good. Now, I now understand. you know why I'm a Scorpio. I get down play. Oh my God, you was a Scorpio born on Halloween. Yes. Oh my goodness, Jay. I'm I, you, I, got, I knew you, bro. I got two devils on my show. <laughs> I got a bad devil and a bad earth. <laughs> but negative time, negative equal positive. Yeah, so you ain't lying. We're gonna be all right. Gotta spin it, baby. Gotta spin it. Yeah, we're gonna be all right. So, folks, we're getting ready to go into uh, our second, uh, our next guest segment, which mm -hmm. is uh, the good Reverend Doctor Jeffrey. Yes, right. And so, uh, y'all stay with us. on the line. We don't know what kind of day he has, so all we got to do is pray. Jeffrey, how you doing? Brother Jay, what the deal is, my brother? Oh, no, he sounded a little hype. Oh, y'all go get it. Get him. Get him, Jeffrey. Get him. We're doing good, my brother. We're doing good. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, uh, brother Jeff, you you get Jay so hyped yes, in the studio, boy. I'm telling you what, you keep us fired up. That's right, man. Tell him out. Hey, get him. How you doing tonight, bro? <laughs> I, I, I'm good, Brother Kraft. Man, listen, I want y'all to know I just got off another radio show. I let them know I got to go at 740 because I got something to do, and I am riled up, and <laughs> you know what time it is. Yes, yeah. sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to close your mouth and listen. You ask me some questions, I give you some answers from a man's point of view. Right. Now, I got one reason for the habitually single woman. And I got one reason for the habitually single man as to why you might be single. But before I get to that, here is my disclaimer. Okay. Now, what I'm going to talk about when I thought you listened to that, but I want you to put your foot up in this shoe. <laughs> but if it does apply to you, I want you to put both feet in both shoes and walk around in them because you're going to learn something tonight, ladies. Your asses go first. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sorry. 
Right. Ladies, I'm going to tell you right now, you might be single because you're too damn stubborn. And I mean just stubborn for no damn reason. I mean stubborn in that you will have a whole man give you whole dedication, whole attention, and you will let that man walk away from you because you don't want to give up on one little bitty thing because you feel like if you give up on that, then you lose who you are. Right. You lose who you are. Mm-hmm. Now, I need you to understand something, ladies. If you're in a relationship, it ain't about you. It's about the relationship. Yes. Every day you should ask yourself, what can I do to make the relationship better? Not what can I do to preserve who I am. Right. If that's your standpoint, you don't need to be in a relationship anyway. In fact, if a man senses that you are self-centered and selfish, what he's going to do is he's going to give you all the time in the world to focus on yourself because he's going to leave your ass single. <laughs> Hello. And as we used to say, for a very long time. <laughs> Hey, listen, you can't, you can't overcome stubborn, man. You know, stubbornness is a very difficult quality to deal with because um, when you're in a relationship, it's got to be 50-50 or 100-100, you know? And, and sometimes, you know, I know more than you and sometimes you know more than me and sometimes, you know, I got a little more energy than you, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, you got to give you got to give up the reins in a relationship because he said it just right. I love this statement. It's all about the relationship. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about the relationship. And, uh, man, that's why good, the good Reverend Doctor is preaching to us tonight, man. Oh, man, so, this is what he do. On fire as, as always, bro. Uh, shall you proceed? All right, brothers. Don't think I'm letting y'all off the hook. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fellas, you are next. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fellas, you might be single because your math don't add up. Okay. Your math don't add up, fellas. I need y'all to stick with me now. I'm going to get a little metaphysical on you with this one, but here we go. I'm metaphorical with you, but here we go. Okay. Now, fellas, your math don't add up, meaning that you don't add anything of value to the relationship. Okay. In fact, when you get with this woman, what you begin to subtract, you begin to subtract her peace of mind. The more you subtract her peace of mind, it leaves her with a difference in attitude. The attitude goes from good to bad, and when it's a bad attitude, her disposition changes. And when her disposition changes, the oasis dries up. Yes. Now when the oasis dried up, you're living in the desert. And you're only going to be in that desert so long before you die of thirst. Yes. So what I need you to understand, so is that you're not adding something of value to this woman's life. All you're doing is subtracting. If you're subtracting, you are a negative. And women these days don't need no more negatives in their lives. Right. So what they're going to do, once they discover that you are a negative or a taker, they're going to divide the household, not even in half. They're going to divide it by less than a third to get your ass out there because they're going to leave your ass single. single. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. My goodness. Uh, I mean, that's, that's called going straight to the sub muscle. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> you know you say, wow. You got it. Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. You like an attack dog. Um, <laughs> but listen, isn't it such an valuable point? Um, if you're not adding value, then you're hurting. Right. You're subtracting, you're taking away, you're bringing negativity, you're inhibiting her or his peace of mind. And so uh, you got to always add value. I would and like to say if you look at most relationships and a lot of problems that we have today is people look at relationships and they see the negatives they see that that person is taken away from them and again a lot of times kids is involved so when you take away from that person you also take them away from what they're providing absolutely that's their kid yeah so my whole thing is you got to look at a bigger picture and that's why a relationship and looking at a person is bigger than yourself and if you're willing to take away from that table it really shows poor character yeah. on you yeah and and i don't want to again belabor the point but let me say this uh, we have all seen um, we have all seen women who are good women, mm. and they attracted a man who was not necessarily ready to be a man. Mm. And uh, she began spending money on him. Uh, you know, he might move in a house, uh, drive her car, and um, and then <laughs> you know, I I oftentimes ask myself like, well, at uh, certainly at a certain point that they were adding value and that value had to be nothing but you know a friend uh, a, a mental good time you know what I mean somebody they could love and talk to because the guy wasn't bringing anything else to the table he wasn't bringing any finance he wasn't bringing he might not have been even bringing any romance you know mm-hmm. um, but 
you know, how does a guy get into a woman's life and he's adding no value like that? Women, I say you got to stop it. Uh, I know this is for the men, but I'm going to turn that around. So uh, uh, let me just let you do you your thing, hate hate Jeff. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Oh yeah, Crabby, you about to get hated, boy. You about to get some. Mm. Go ahead, Jeffrey. Save my boy. <laughs> Save. Him. All right, all right. Now, now, brothers and sisters, I need y'all to understand something very, just very succinctly from me. There are people that will pander to you just to get you to drop your defenses, so they can take advantage of you. There are people that will sell you on a bill of goods just to get their way with you. And the minute they get what they want, they are gone. The last people that need to have those attitudes are black men and black women towards each other. Right now, what we have to do, we have to be 100% real with each other. We've got to realize that there's mistakes on both sides of the coin, and we have to stop focusing on those mistakes and start focusing on solving our issues through cooperation. Yes. by getting along, by just having yes. conversations, yes. by not trying to get the D or the P, but trying to learn more about each other so our essence can begin to speak to each other, our souls can begin to dance again, and when our souls begin to dance, our bodies can't help but move in harmony. So what I need y'all to understand, everybody that tells you something you want to hear, they're not necessarily your advocate. They could be that person keeping you from the other side of the fence, keeping you from looking at that black man or that black sister as a partner, and whispering stuff in your ear to encourage you to see them as an enemy. We don't have time for that foolishness coming from each other. So I just want us to, uh, want to remind us that there is no more important relationship in our community than the relationship between our black men and our black women. And once we focus on healing that, we will heal every other problem that's lying in our community. Yes. And that's all I got. I mean, he act like that wasn't nothing. Man, <laughs> drop the mic, drop Jeffrey. The mic on Jay, that. man, oh, Neil. Man, you had a real horrible day at work, didn't you? <laughs> Lord, man, man. It wasn't a hard day at work, but on this, this other radio show, you know, I had a, a, a brother who called in that wasn't a brother, and I had to check him. I had, he had to get checked because you're not going to talk to no brother, no black man that's out here doing good and make it seem like, no, what I'm talking about is foolishness. If you don't sit your white ass down. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Right, right. Say how you feel, had, Jeffrey. Had, Say had, how you had, feel. Had to get with him. I like that. Um, listen, it is important that we don't buy dreams. We cannot waste our time buying dreams, right? And we can't waste our time selling dreams. He said, be 100% real with one another. A man and a woman being 100% real with each other, knowing that you each have history, you may each have some skeletons, you can't focus on the skeletons, you gotta focus on each other, you gotta focus on communicating, you gotta focus on trying to learn each other. I like that. You gotta focus on trying to learn each other. And that's why, you know, when we talked about last week, we were talking about, you know, if the, if the sex wasn't good, people just walk away, get the hell out. And uh, that's just throwing people away, you know what I mean? Let's be real with each other. You know, I don't have, you know, she may not have as much experience as you have, so maybe you can teach her and bring her along, you know? Uh, like to trying to learn one another, being 100% real with one another. That's what I like, man. So, uh, Jeffrey, man, you're always just so dynamic, bro. I mean, you got I mean, really, Jeffrey with the topic. Really dynamic. Yeah, here's the topic for tonight, brother Jeffrey. Uh, you're on a date, right. okay? You're on a date with your boo, mm -hmm. and you see your bestie's girlfriend or boyfriend out cheating. What do you do? You know, what do you do? Yeah. Okay, now, now listen. It depends <laughs> on the level of uh, you know friendship. Now, my brother Jay or brother Kraft, if I saw your significant other out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up and I'm going to speak. I'm going to be like, what's going on with you? It's good to see you. And I'm not going to mention you or nothing. Right. But I'm going to speak to them and let them know that I saw them. And I'm going to introduce myself to this other person they're out there with. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to let it lie. And I'm going to call you in about a week to see if you got any news. Mm -hmm. And if you ain't got no news in about a week, I'm going to hey, you need to have a conversation with your girl. Right. Ask her about right. McDonald's. Right. And and that's gonna be and I'm gonna say you tell her that Jeffrey said ask you about McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give the relationship. I'm gonna give the relationship the courtesy of not saying something for about a week. Right. 
But if I check in with you and she ain't said nothing, and it's clear that they've been up to some foolishness, it's got to be clear, because it could be a cousin. Right. But if, if it's clear that it ain't a cousin, it ain't a relative, Okay. Okay, but I'm but I'm not gonna stick my too far in it because I want I want you two to have that conversation because ultimately it's still your relationship. I can only share the news and let you two work it out however you see fit. And if you decide that was no big deal, I still got your back. Okay. But if you need the evidence, trust me, I will send you these damn pictures I took on the trial. <laughs> so you got all the evidence you need. Right. <laughs> I told you, I told you, Graham, take your pictures, stir the pot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, uh, I like that answer, man. Uh, TK as well said that uh, her friends um, would just immediately address the situation, and um, and you know just walk up to them, just like you did, you know, walk up to them and say, "Hey, what's going on?" But they were going to address the situation, like address it. Yeah, I mean, boom. yeah. She talking about they gonna go over there and start whooping ass right away. <laughs> 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 what's going uh, on? Yeah, they ain't gonna do all that because you never know. You never know who that person is. You can't walk. Everything ain't a damn fight. Sometimes you walk up, you do some investigation, and like I said, brother Craft, brother Jay, if it's, if it's y'all significant other, right. I'm going I'm gonna introduce myself, collect all the evidence, and I'm gonna let it marinate for about a week. But if you ain't heard nothing in no week and you ain't got no explanation, I'm gonna drop that note for you. I'm gonna drop that uh that uh yeah. hey, this is the question you need to ask at this day, this restaurant at that time, ask that say Jeffrey asked. And they better come clean <laughs> because at that point, you know, I, I'm surprised there for the, for the evidence. Yeah, hey, if I heard it correctly, so you was gonna tell your boy, say, hey, you need to ask your girl about McDonald's last yeah. Wednesday night. <laughs> and Jeffrey said, <laughs> yeah, you know, he said, drop the bomb on, drop the bomb on. I like on that, me. boy. I like that. That's what's up. That's what's now, up. That's clean snitching. Yeah. You got dry snitching. Dry snitching. That's yeah. clean snitching. That's clean snitching. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you did that game of the week. It's yeah. clean. Yeah. You know, your boy be like, why didn't you tell me sooner? Obviously, you got problems in your home. Right. I was giving you I was giving you time to clean up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't tell, so I gave a little time. Right. So, hey, if she, and he come back another way, just his cousin, this, that, and the other, then that means she already made up her story. Right. But when I took this picture, I ain't never seen you kiss your cousin like this right here. Play! <laughs> That's why I like the pictures, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, as, as I was saying, Brother Jeffrey, earlier, that um, this subject really goes across all things, you know? Uh, you may, you know, you may see, you know, your a text message, you know what I'm saying, or your, your, your man's girl's phone or something, or you might hear a story or a rumor in the street. You might... Um, you might catch somebody taking something at work. Um, you know, there's a lot that can can be going on. You know, you may know you may know something like your what you know her husband goes out gambling every week. We see him in the casino, and the wife didn't even know, <laughs> you know, that he was in the casino. I mean, there's so many scenarios that can be brought up for this. This is an integrity issue, um, and yeah. I like the way you handled it, Jeffrey. Um, you you want to say something on that? Man, listen. Here, here's the thing, and this is why I'm always cautious in those situations. That could be a business dinner. That could be a, a, a friend from, you know, 30, 40 years ago that's in town and the husband or the wife is completely aware of it. Right. So you always give that person the benefit of the doubt. Now, I'm not going to be disrespectful. We all grown. I'm speaking, though, because I want you to know that I see you. Right. I want you to know that I see you. Right. And then you have yourself accordingly. But if I see some, some tomfoolery going on, okay. then, yeah, I'm still going to speak. And I'm not going to report it immediately because that could be cool in your relationship too. I don't, I don't know. Right. So I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to, you know, hold that against you. I'm just going to say, hey, father, you know, you need to ask your girl about McDonald's on last Thursday yeah. at two o'clock yeah. in the afternoon yeah. on an overcast day in downtown Atlanta. <laughs> oh, right next okay. to the damn yeah. I'm giving all the information now because yeah. I want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> I got the goods if you need it. Right. I want you to have that conversation because it's your relationship. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, and and uh, man, I really appreciate that angle, the way you came at that. But if you would just oblige me with a real quick phone call and uh, uh, just you know let me know where y'all at, uh, and then you can take your own approach after that. But uh, it's gonna be a lot sooner than a week when it go down. <laughs> oh, <come> and play it. <laughs> Hey, but listen, I got you, baby. I got you. All right, crap. I got you for you. You know, it's going to be just a couple of minutes after I walk outside to get in my car and, you know, pull the number up and call you and ask you some questions. Right. All right, I got you, brother. There you yeah, go. yeah. Man, uh, Jeffrey, you go. if it's me, yeah, wait that week. 
Because <laughs> like, the first thing you're going to do when you hit me up, you be like, yeah, you kept saying you didn't want to be in a monogamous relationship. <laughs> I'd be like, well, you have to hurt my feelings and tell me see how I do it, damn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, wait a wow. week, wait a week. <laughs> yeah, listen, uh, another super powerful segment. Uh, thank you so much, Brother Jeffrey. Uh, any parting words for us tonight, sir? Oh, man, I'm going to say this again now. Everybody that panders to you ain't your friend. Mm. And listen, brother, brothers and sisters, we got to be able to trust in what we're saying to each other. Yes. Everybody else, they need to sit their asses down. That's all I got to say. Woo. And that's all that needs to be said. We Folks, out. we are out for uh, this segment. Let's take another break. Jay and I got smooth crap, DJ style in the building, yes, doing this thing, and then special guest just arrived, him in his heliport, uh, <laughs> wearing his Harley with the Honda shirt faded, <laughs> Phil on mine in the building. What's up, smooth Phil? What up, bro? How you doing, man? Hey, right, what about yourself? Man, we doing good. We doing we, good. We you turned up? We turned yeah, up. Yeah, I, I see. I, I Make see. sure you turned up over there, Rob. I, I, I see the topic. <laughs> no, you see the topic. Can't hear him. Okay, we want to make you pay attention. Pay attention. You gotta, I tell you, you gotta address his transgression first. Oh! oh. What transgression? Oh. What transgression do I have, Louis? <laughs> 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 yeah. I want to know what what transgression. I want to know what transgressions do. Okay. <laughs> This you gonna me, boo. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be very interesting. Yes, okay. yes. All right. Uh, let's get back to the topic. Uh, give my man Phil <laughs> with the topic. Before we get his opinion on which one he, what approach he would do. All right, Phil. Um, this is just uh, needing your own perspective, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm not gonna give you the answers. I'm just gonna share with you uh, the question at hand. Okay. You're on a date with your new boo, and you see your bestie's boyfriend or girlfriend out cheating. What do you do? How you know he's cheating? Well, she's cheating. Great question. Great question. You see somebody out that you know? With somebody. With somebody that's... That's her Yeah. I mean, Look booed up. Yeah. And you with your boo. That ain't none of New my boo. That's none of my business. Okay. That's one of the answers. Okay. That's none of my business because... Okay. So you don't say nothing? No dry snitching, nothing? Say, say something for what? Okay. That's not my place. Right. Oh, so you done seen my woman out there, you ain't saying nothing. <laughs> oh, 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 we're about to tell this. I'm going to tell y'all what's going on. Hey, bro. Hey, hey. Boomy, zoom in. Hey. We're about to get this going. This is, uh, it's about to be popping up in. No, this man done cross it. My girl out there cheating. Listen. No, don't be pointing, no. No, we got problems. Hold on, hold on. No, man, we both. Oh, you do got problems, but I just want to go ahead and, and inter interject. Interject what? Folks, this is real life. Oh, yeah, real about, life. And I'm about, about to really kick his ass. We're talking about 30 years. <laughs> I'm about to beat him down. 30 years of friendship. To the like me. That uh, potentially. Bernie Max that. Hold up. Put 30 years of friendship <laughs> that's potentially at hand um, by not mm. expressing integrity. Right? No, so, no, so, so, no, now listen, it's, if, it's, if it's Jay, integrity. if it's Jay, yeah. and you see his girl, that, and that might be different than some other friend, or would it be different? Or, or, or is it still not your business? What? No, 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 he already made a bad play. Hell no! He made a bad play. He ain't saying shit. 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 Go ahead, Phil. First of all, it's not my place to tell. Okay. Hold and on. It, and it has no, it doesn't have anything to do with integrity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Because when you when you talk about integrity, you're questioning if I'm honest or not. Yeah, absolutely. So if I see something that has nothing to do with my integrity. That's none of my business. Loose lips sink ships. Yeah. Because when you start messing, when you don't know exactly what's going on, that creates problems. Well, you ain't never heard of the term good looking out, bruh. Hell in no. Regards to what? <laughs> in regards to 
voice to everything. Like, listen, you heard my boss having a conversation about me in the office, and you know it was on some suspect crap, right? You ain't gonna come. Hey, man, I just heard the conversation. You know what I'm saying? You need to watch the seven. You look out. Da da da. You ain't gonna come that in here and say. That do with the topic. Ah, uh, that that's the same. It's the same no, scenario. No, listen, the same okay, scenario. my lady out. My lady out with another dude, and you run up on him. It's none of your business. It's none of my business. How do I not? How do I know that you don't know that she's out? I mean, it could be a colleague, it could be a business dinner, yeah, it could be anything. And you it, don't know. I know, but so it, why but it could you, be? I would never know, right? Tell? Because I, I want you to know. You know, I want to. I want to know if you knew. It's like you know, what I'm saying, did you know that she was going out with her cousin last night? It's like this, right? It's here. Like family. Whoever you choose to be with, and whoever you choose to marry, you know exactly what you got. Perhaps. Because. No, 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 no. Perhaps. No, perhaps. Sometimes it takes no. 10 people, 10, 20 years to no, figure it out. No, no, no. You see signs all along the way. Yeah, but they to figure it out. That's what I'm you, suggesting. You see, you see flag on play. Yeah. You know what a flag is. Yeah. You know what a file looks like. Right, right. So if you are going to say, hey, this is going to be my person that I'm dealing with, and you've seen all the red flags already, and you still choose to tolerate that person, What's the point of somebody to come to you and tell you, oh, I saw so-and-so, so-and-so? For what? You already know what you're dealing with. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't disagree with that. Um, I think it's... I th like, like, if you're my boy, and I'm always expecting you to fill in gaps where I, I'm not available. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, just like I said, you know, you see my lady out, I would hope that you would be like, Crap, you know, you know your lady was out last night. She was out at the bar, right? Right? Did you know? Oh, okay, I just wanted to make sure, man, because you know, I'm just looking out for my wife. Just looking out for my boy, and I would be like, oh, okay, cool, man. I sure appreciate that. Da, 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 da. You right? And I might tell you, yeah, I knew she was out. Yeah, that's cool. When I get off the phone, be like, hey, girl, where the hell was you at last night? <laughs> right? Uh, I mean, not my but but you know, that's to each his own. And I want you own. to come to me and tell me nothing like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, point blank. And and listen, but now that I know that. That's exactly how it would go down, yeah. and 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 it would go it would go down like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Until you you know that, maybe say something that, different. I out. might five years from now say, hey bro, I seen some shit you might want to know. You interested in hearing about it? Crap. And you won't be like, nah, I ain't interested in hearing about it. I'm gonna be like, all right, all right go about my business. <laughs> come, come, <laughs> right? to, come to me, crap. Come to me. Go ahead, Jay. All right, so he, he went down. That, that, go that, ahead, Jay. That that that, that way, okay? Yeah. Is that the day? What you got, sir? He downgraded. <laughs> 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 he is downgraded. Okay. okay. Now me, All right? If I seen his wife out there with somebody, right? I'm gonna address her. I'm gonna say hello. I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna make sure she see my presence. Okay. I don't know what she's doing either, mm -hmm. and it ain't for me to say either. But I'm gonna make sure she see me, okay. and I'm gonna make sure I speak to her because I'm gonna acknowledge because I'm respectful. I always have been. I know a person. Why wouldn't I? Yeah. And after that. I'm almost like Jeff. I'm gonna give you some time. She don't tell you she's seen. She don't talk to you. But one thing that I will do is I will address you later and be like, "Hey, did your wife ever say she seen me?" Now, if you tell me she never seen me and no, when and where, now I know you need to have a conversation. But that's <coughs> your business, ain't mine. So it ain't really dry. And okay. It's clean. Where again. I'm looking out for you, but now get in your business. And again, no, no. if it was good and it, it was legit, it was business or whatever, guess what? I ain't really in it. And it doesn't really matter. My whole thing is, I always got to look out for my boy. Out for like, you. I yeah. want my boy to look out for me. Right. Instead of this novice ass approach right. that you just gave <laughs> me no. sitting across. Right. No, because no, no, we're going to have a conversation no, 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 after no, no, this no, no, show. No, You're going to sit out there, Brian. You better tell me what you're sitting. Come on, man. First of all, hop on. Go ahead. I'm going to hop on the horse. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Now, go ahead. I will acknowledge your girl. Right. Oh, you just, have? No, just like you said, <laughs> I'll acknowledge her. Hey, how you doing? Right. But it's not going to be my place to tell you exactly what she was doing. I I'm saying, hey, if I if I see your girl out, hey, Jerry, I saw your girl, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Right but you I'm not. Your <laughs> it's not my business. But if I see her out and she tell, hey, you saw me? Yeah, I saw her. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to be like, oh, uh, I saw her. It was, it was 5 o'clock and it was... 
It was the sun was setting over. No. I, I mean, know. okay, let me just paint a little scenario. I got two scenarios I want to paint. What, what you want to paint? Okay, <laughs> this, 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 this was from Brother Phil. So, um, mm -hmm. I'm out. I see your lady with another dude. They ain't cousins or nothing. We can clearly see that. You know what I'm saying? They groping, oh, they're kissing, and da 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 da, right? Um, <clears throat> you. You would, and, and then you find out two weeks later that me and her was at the same party that night. Okay. And I saw it all. I saw it all going down, right? Mm -hmm. Me and you, we sitting around playing cards, kicking it like we do. You don't feel a certain kind of way about me? You like, that he knew. He knew she was out there doing that. And I'm supposed to be sitting right here like his boy? You, you would be like, no, it wasn't his business. It wasn't his place. I can't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna add any level of responsibility to him, um, because he knew. You know what I'm saying? And you know, could have set me out there. You know what I'm saying? Could have. Could have got me set out there. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. how would you address that? I'm just turning. This, I'm just trying to turn the, the situation around, not stage your answer. <coughs> Please, how would you respond to that? I'm still gonna be the same way. Okay. You could look at me no differently. Well, what? Okay. I agree. I, mean, I, I, I can I can agree with that. Just take now, watch this. now watch this. Right now. now watch Peter. this. Now watch this. Peter. Now watch this. Here, here's the same subject, uh, in a different twist, right? Mm -hmm. um, you own a company, very successful company, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I'm your, one of your tight boys. I'm your vice president. I might work on the front line, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I work under the company. You my boy. I'm gonna look out for you all the way. I see my tight one of the cats over here. We work with stealing. He taking stuff. He, he may be, you know, taking big though. You know what I'm saying? You know, stealing can, can go in all kinds of ways. Mm -hmm. Should I tell you? No, because it's real simple. My office is furnished right now <laughs> from my company. So I can't be a hypocrite and be like, now I want you to tell me if they getting company supplies. You know? <laughs> uh -uh, I can't do it. You my type <laughs> boy though. Hold on. You my Did boy. You uh, did, did you not hear what crap. I said? Go ahead. Jay. I want you to know right now. <laughs> he used to work for me. Yeah. He used to work for me. Right. We're going to take him out that garage right now. Whoop <laughs> his <laughs> Man, he done stole from me. He done watched my girl run off with somebody. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, we whooping that behind tonight. Listen, but but uh, listen, listen, a behind woman ain't gonna change the way he feel on something. I don't want to change nothing. I want to inflict some pain. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I want to do. I know, but you can't, you can't, you can't stop the man from resting on his own laws. You know what I'm that's it, that's when what he, he that's when he, he walk just, away from that whooping, right. he will still have the same way, and he gonna understand how I feel with the lumps across <laughs> that head because I don't like. How he operate, <laughs> right? But I don't want to change him. That's him. I don't ever want to make him be me. I want to make him be a better him. So I'm gonna add some lumps <laughs> and lumps. <laughs> this is what you thinking. Since okay. you want to be like that, I'm gonna help you out. Okay. Cause I don't know what all he stole from me. He ain't saying that either. He right. worked for me, player. Right. He said his office is fully furnished. <laughs> He stole over me, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You need printer paper? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm running low. That's a move. Gotcha. You, right, you, know what I'm talking you about. need pens? Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Man, he's out of me. Just write it off on your taxes. <laughs> no, see, that's another thing. Look, For all y'all entrepreneurs out there, don't worry about it. I got it. When they say write it off on your taxes, <laughs> Understand it still came out your pocket. Right. That right off ain't that big of a help. I'm just trying to say that's less Uncle Sam and more out the door. That's all I'm saying. Baby needs school spot. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's when them book bags went. Oh, this show about to go viral. All right, like, we about to test the tables up. Don't raise some burden. No, hey, listen, his opinion is his opinion, right? That's just, that's just like me being a cop. If I was a cop and I want to give you a ticket for speed and I know I speed, nope, I ain't gonna do it. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's why you ain't no cop. Ain't a buyer. And so you wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't say that this is an integrity issue. It's it's what kind of issue? Mind your business issue. It's not integ. It's not integrity to me. It's it's if you want to be a hypocrite or not. Because if you decide to you know go out and hang out with somebody that's not your friend. And not your, your mate, would you want somebody to do it to you or would you do it to somebody? <clears throat> I mean, if it was my type boy, man, I'm always just look out. You know, that's, hey, but I, I <clears throat> you mean, know, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm, 
there is the potential. At the very moment that I see that, the first thing that comes to my mind is he doesn't know. My tight boy. See, you know what I'm saying? My tight. Hold on. Let me, let me just see. My tight boy doesn't know. Okay, and I'm vested in him. I got his back under all situations. So he doesn't know. He probably needs to at least know. And he can determine whether it was supposed to be or not, or he can fake it with not me or whatever the case may be. Because that's what and women do, correct? No, I don't. I, no, I think it's much yes, much deeper than that. No, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do. it's starting men. So in other words, so if if like if you don't know if like your neighbor, on, if you don't know what's going on in that person's household and but how listen. they operate, okay, why say anything? Okay, let's that's go. just like you're trying to run that person's house. Okay, let's go. Let's go to this place. You're trying let's, to run that person's relationship. You don't do that. Okay, watch this. Um, I don't want to be too extreme here, but if you found out your neighbor was next door making bombs and, you know, got plutonium in shit in the living room, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, <laughs> in, yeah, the, yeah. in the living room, uh, what, you know, what do you do? You, you gonna, you gonna call Popo and be like, hey, you know what I'm saying, or, or you hear a girl screaming next door. Did he blow and, my house up? No. No. Okay then. Did he step over that line and cause any harm to my family? Not yet. As long as he doesn't, I'm good. Man, that's very passive, man. That's like, that's like saying that I'm not going to... I only need to be aggressive when I need to be. If so, I don't need to be aggressive, why be aggressive? So, so if, uh, you know, if you knew there was a terrorist attack about to go down somewhere, would you tell somebody? For what? As long as it's not harming me and my family, no. You wouldn't say nothing. If, it, if it's going to cause you harm, I know somebody. <laughs> <laughs> if it's going to cause him harm, I know somebody right. that owns a funeral home. Right. It's real simple. Right. I told yeah. you. Take him outside. <laughs> right. if, you're, yeah. if, you're, if you're doing something to cause the people that I care about harm, it's real simple to get rid of. Yeah, so... Um, Folks, it's about time for another break here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I just, I just like the strength of his comments. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't agree, but I like the strength of his comments because uh, he has a way of thinking that is synonymous with other people in the world. No one and, thinks uh, like there's, this. There's, no one. There's, there's, uh, there's no right. There's no wrong. There's no judgment. We just understanding. Uh, we just, you know, I call it integrity. Uh, what else could it be called? Something like, you know, what I'm saying, would you look out? Would you look out for your company? Would you look out for your boy? Would you look out for this country? Would you look out for the family next door? You see somebody snooping around their house in the middle of the night, peeking in the window. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the phone and call them. You know what I'm saying? Like I, it ain't my business, but it becomes my business because that could have been my window they was at. You know what I'm saying? Or you know that that could have been my neighborhood they was about to blow up when you called the police and say, hey, they over there making bombs. You know, it could have been my kid, you know, it could have been my kid shot in the school when you knew, when you saw a 12 year old over there with a, with an assault rifle. I'm going to go tell somebody, I'm going to get involved. And, and, you know, there may be some anonymous ways to do it, but, um, uh, and it's all circumstantial. You know, I also don't want to get myself in the middle of a, a, a cahoots. Oh yeah, because and I go What we're going to do is when we come back from break, uh, I'm gonna make a phone call. We gonna get Jamal on. He he got a little something. Oh, little something. Yeah, we, we gonna add another person in there to do some things, and then and I'm, and when he's done, I'm I'm gonna come back and address again what Phil said, um, with a different uh, spin. Okay. Because again, we having fun. So yeah. again, I, I'm not mad at Phil. Anybody wanna look at and say, oh my God, no. Just understand, me and Phil are real tight, and yeah, uh, we're so us. close that. Uh, again, if he seen my girl out there and he didn't tell me, then we're going to go in this garage and fix it. <laughs> and we'll, we'll and we fix on. it like that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to fix it. I would say we can take it to the grass, but it's raining. But, yeah. <laughs> but my whole thing is, uh, you know, we so tight that you, you would think you would, you would hear your boy say, yeah, I got you, I got you. But I got you, they ain't always going to come out and everybody ain't going to do. Yeah. And truthfully, and my whole thing is, if I was doing right, she wouldn't be out there. Yeah, perhaps. So, uh, so you know, you can't stop a trick from being a trick. You know what I'm saying? Hey! Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Listen, right. watch right. this. Watch. Yeah, I mean, man. I mean, listen. You know, you just can't. You just don't, you know right. that's you know, she did because she wanted she did, to do it. She did. It had nothing to do with him. him she did to me. But 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 watch this. What I what I also hear, and we'll we'll keep continue dialoguing on this in the next segment, is I hear how someone responds when their friend don't come to the table. 
-hmm. Right? There isn't, you know, there is a certain set of emotions that would happen. Hey, my, you, you knew? You, you knew for that? years and you ain't saying nothing? Like, are you really my friend? How would you look at it? And, uh, you know, Jay got his way of, of uh, dealing with it. Mm -hmm. But I love the dialogue. I think it's, I'm hoping it's adding value for you folks who are oh, listening so to us tonight. And uh, we're going to take a station identification and uh, be right back with more of our talk with Jay. Discussion. I hope all y'all had fun tonight. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Oh, uh, we got a change to the game. Yes, we got another person on the phone tonight. We gonna bless y'all with Jamal, a person that looked like him but not him. Right. Is in the building on the phone. That's my man, Jamal. What's going on tonight, bro? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, Atlanta? What the topic is, right? Your wife off with something else, 
I ain't gonna lie, I'ma just walk up right on top of the couple. Like, hey, what's happening, y'all? How you doing? Right. I'ma see you at the first game on Tuesday. That's what's up. Uh, hey, Jerry's still gonna be at the house later on this evening? I'm gonna hit you with a quick game right there and walk off cool. Yeah. You make you not rich as hell. But I'm not gonna, I'm not looking like no female for no female. I just won't do it. Like, I'm not giving a female that type of satisfaction. Right. You already played my homeboy. You're not about to play me and make me thirsty running around behind you. Right. Right. Mm. Okay. Okay. I like that. That's pretty clear. Mm. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, we we going to the next level. <clears throat> so, your next door neighbor is making bombs. Snitch. Okay. Cause they, I don't even know what the rest of it is, but snitch. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't dying. My boys ain't dying. Ain't nobody dying. I don't even need the rest of the story. You said the neighbor next to me making bombs. I don't care if he brown, white, polka dot, telly, rap, telly, man, bitch. <laughs> I call that community, and uh, I would agree. Uh, I don't think it's any less I community. Call that survival. Yeah, I don't think it's any less community than uh, if your lady was out cheating. You know, I'm gonna, you know, if she's out, uh, you probably, you know, and you probably don't know, then I need to make sure that you know. And, uh, you know, I can say... Uh, realistically, if my female is cheating, not in my... Well, not in my female, because Lord knows that ain't gonna happen. But if a mm. female was cheating on somebody like me, more than likely somebody like me was cheating on that female to begin with. Mm. Okay. Women really cheat for an emotional reason. Right. It wasn't physical. Men cheat just because of physical. It looked good, seemed good, want to try it. You find out she crazy later, but we still gonna try it. I'm not about that life. I'm not playing no games with nobody. Right. So I tell you up front, this is how we play it. But if you really my homeboy, I'm not going to let you look like a sucker. I'm going to help you find another female and say, bro, I'm going to waste your time on that no more. Yeah. Yeah. There's some women you keep and there's some you pass to the team. Yeah. Now watch this. Um, Kind of a, a spin to the subject a little bit. Actually, I, I really want to hear. I want to hear Jay's story before now, I get to this. Point. One of the things I was gonna tell y'all was about about not talking and uh, keeping it to yourself. I had a situation happen. Uh, I had the police out in front of my house, and when they was out there, uh, normally you got the police. You you, you want to stay in the house. You, you back down. You ain't do that. Don't make no sense. Right. So I I seen them with my neighbor, and it was going over the neighbors, and I, I was curious. Uh, so I went out there to find out. Now, again, some people be like, mind your business. Well, my neighbor is my business. Because right. I was concerned. I ain't know what was going on. Right. So they knocking at the door, and they ain't doing no more. And I asked what's going on. They said the father called and said that the daughter might be in a situation where they need to intervene and check on her. Right. And I was worried. And I, automatically, I knew she had a stroke. And I knew she was going through some medical things. So right. I'm like, well, y'all need to go up in there. I, I haven't seen her, but... And my other neighbor came out, Marshall, and we we was talking with the officers trying to let them know that you know mental issues, just going in there. They said, well, for the fact that the father just called, they came. They, they just had to stop. That's, that's all they can do is knock on the door. They walked around the house, and they didn't do nothing else. That's all they can do because they didn't see a threat. Okay? Me and my neighbor, I went back to my house because we wanted to go up in there to find out what was going on because we was concerned. We ended up going. I went to my house, got a hammer. We came back. We knocked the window out. Right. We told the police, please, like, you can't do it. Yes, we can. We'll pay for it. Bottom line, we want to make sure she all right. Right. She was in the garage with the car running. If we wouldn't have did what we did, yeah, the situation would have been way worse. Right. You have to understand, when you care and you know some things, you can't always sit back and say, it ain't my business. Right. Sometimes it is yours. When you know, I mean, that's when you care. Right. First of all, we got away from caring because it coming to dry snitching and not caring. Right. You got to care for yours. This is a neighborhood. You got to be a tribe. If you know your neighborhood and you know the community and you know kids is doing wrong and you sit back and do nothing, don't expect nothing good to happen from it. Right. So a lot of times you have to take the initiative to know where you at. This is my neighbor. Right. A person that I see and I care for. Right. And then all of a sudden I'm supposed to say, I ain't no dry snitch. That's cop. But po po. I don't care. We need to stop some foolishness and care about our people. She alive today. Right. 
Now I ain't gonna say just off the block. Uh, it is different. It's, it's, it's told. It's, it's told. It's totally different. But the bottom line, if I didn't go outside to find out what was going on, which is being nosy. Okay, and I hate when I see rubbernecking on the highway and everybody turning and stopping, trying to look, holding up traffic. That's right. stupid to me. Right. Okay, but when we're talking about your neighborhood, your neighbor, and you want to sit in the house because you didn't pay your tickets and you scared to go out there, you can also aid when you can if you're willing. My whole thing is I cared enough to know that she been through some things. She was nice enough to let me know these things. Do you even know your neighbor? Right. That right there is a whole nother topic. Right. Yeah. Because some people are so scared that this is my house and whatever they do over there is their business. It's a community. Yeah. Communities need to come together regardless of race, color, creed. Come together. Y'all moved in that neighborhood to be a community of people that come together. Now it's to a point, mind your business, mind mine. My kids stay over here, your private line over there. It's all divide. Right. That's the easy way to control. Yeah. Let's break the control by coming together and we can change what's going on today. Right. We got kids marching because they ain't liking what's happening. Right. But yet we all sitting back wondering where it's gonna lead, where they can't even vote, they can't do this. That's our future. There you go. I love our future to do positive things mm -hmm. because we have laws in place that don't make no sense. Right. You can buy you can't buy a handgun at 18, but you can buy an assault rifle. <laughs> right. So, again, <laughs> so my whole question and what's being used is an assault rifle. So, my whole thing, do some things need to be looked at? Why not? Right. And if they marching, let's all come together and have great dialogue, yeah. not argue. Yeah. It's not about feelings and emotions. Let's get back to facts because sometimes we don't always have it right. Yeah. Let's and, get it and, and snitching is a part of coming together. And it's, it's kind of not a nice thing to think about, but um, you know, if, if, if a strange car keep driving through your neighbor, neighborhood every day, you... Okay. Go ahead. Oh, okay, wait, time I got. Do the rules to snitching, okay? Okay. <laughs> the Ten Commandments. The, the rules to snitching. The, 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 let, let me break it down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before you get the rules. Okay. We don't have to go to break. Rules. No, 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 no. Jamal, hold on. Jamal, Jamal. Jamal. Now, hold on. When you, when Jamal, when you do it, when you be quiet, we put you on game with the rules. Jamal, we gotta wait till we come back from break. We are not telling them until we come back from break because I gotta keep people in suspense. You can't just be telling them that. It's you gotta sell it before you tell it. So give us just one moment. We'll be right back. Jamal, we apologize for taking you off, but we're 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 just understand we cannot let you give it without letting them understand there's a waiting game, baby. We just can't just give it without somebody sitting back and holding on. Give it to them. All right. Tell them how it is. Jamal. All right, yeah. Uh, there's rules to the threesome. There's rules to cheating. But most of all, men and females, there's rules to submission. Now, if it affects the community, in a negative manner, I understand snitching. Okay. If it is a violent offense, I understand snitching. Yes. However, if the bootleg man got DVDs down the street, don't snitch. Right. If it's somebody that has some medicinal, medical, herbal remedies, yes. don't, snitch. don't snitch. Right. If you see somebody with somebody coming in their house or somebody else is at work, Mind your business, enjoy the show, don't snitch. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Everything else, rape, murder, bombs, you know, trying to get snitch all day. We understand that. You found some evidence on Trump, please snitch. There's a form <laughs> at Facebook.com. Snitch all day long. We're waiting for all reports. <laughs> if you got some of the Alabama dude who owes no money in the jail, 
snitch on this way for all the court. Right. But for your local men to cheating on their wives or wives cheating on their men, your medical man one man, everybody like that, you mind your business. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that train of thought. I like that train of thought. There's rules. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> I especially like protecting the community. Uh, on the other side, it just depends on how close I am to the individual. You know what I mean? I, I, listen. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have to know you, but I swear to God, if you snitch on me and my medical, I, I, I'm going to to come out see you. <laughs> but if you snitch because you thought I had a gun and I was going there to school, see, I could understand it like that. I didn't mess that up. Right. I shouldn't have done that. Right. But if you snitch on me for having my medical, oh, no, we got problems. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Listen. That's the man that's got medical conditions. <laughs> that's, that's as plain you as got a handicap. This is medicinal there's, purposes. There's, uh, there's good snitching and there's bad snitching, right? Noah's rules to snitching. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. You you know, you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. Like the Any man who's ever had a girlfriend who has a brother or cousin or whatever, and your girl hits you with, so uh, my cousin said they seen you at the mall with so and so. Every man, before he has a response, the first thing he said is, how he gonna snitch like that? <laughs> that's the first thing we think. Yeah. Man coming above all else. Well. I know that's your cousin. I know that's your sister. But she ain't had to snitch, though, bro. Like, like you ain't never cheated on nobody. You ain't got hands on your You a man, too. Hey, listen. Uh, listen, listen, listen. You, you and so I. Crazy. Listen, we, we had a, we had a so little honest. part of this conversation a couple of weeks ago now. So, if so you honest. saw if you saw your son-in-law out with another chick, what would you do? Team my family. Oh, it's easy with my stack first. I ain't gonna mess up his day. No, 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 man. Go ahead and enjoy your time. But when you come to my my house to see my daughter. Don't be mad if I didn't invite some. Now, no, everybody knows I don't let my daughter date nobody. But I'll, don't be surprised if I have allowed another real boy to come over there and play friendly while you're on the way. <laughs> and me totally support my daughter. Like, it's okay. Daddy not mad at you. You go ahead and have another friend. And wait till the little boy show up and want him to say something to you. That's when daddy going to pull out the picture and say, you think you was going to make my daughter cry? <laughs> See, that's when we get to do stuff like that. Right. Right. So the fault? No, man. As okay. a man, we have all cheated. We've all done something. And there's still that level of man code that you like, hey, bro, I don't care if that is your home girl. Why you going to say that, though? Like, man code. Really? Okay. Was you trying to get her on the road? So you, you don't, you don't <laughs> never want to be that cornball. Because if a girl realizes you'll create mess to get her, she knows that you're going to do the same as throughout the relationship. Why well, paint that image that you're a cornball? Right. You don't have to be a cornball just because you are one. <laughs> you can change status. Right. Right. You, yeah, I, I completely agree, bro. Okay, cornball. I completely, I completely agree. So, um, listen, I think we got a uh, house divided. But uh, not, no, necess no. not necessarily yeah. against it's itself. It's a great conversation because yeah. one of the things I noticed, Jamal has jumped on Phil's team and he said a lot of things that Phil said earlier and I ain't got a problem with, 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 with any that's team. Not, yeah, there's, nothing, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's never divided because yeah, it's, 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 it's a dialogue okay. because if we all jump on the same then everybody moves to that one beat. Right. My whole thing is we're not on the same path. Right. We have to talk differently because if we all stay there then you, you push people to a place where they need, I, I'm no not, I don't feel that way. I have to think out the box and different because the bottom line, everybody don't think the same. Right. So the the rules that he gave is great rules. But if I don't use them rules and I ain't never heard those rules, never got exposed to that, wouldn't use it, don't know what you're talking about, ain't going to affect me. Yeah. Neighborhood, community, it's always going to affect you because that's what you're around no matter where you at. It's right. a community, there's people, how you communicate to them might be a problem because you don't care for your neighbor, you don't want to talk to your neighbor because it's going to be an issue. Right. But the bottom line, if you really need that help, they can't be there for you because you isolated yourself. That's the inbox. When we're trying to get people out the box, we got to do more than what we've been doing because we keep waiting on somebody else to be our leader. It's for us to be lead, 
leaders of our own. Yeah. We start with our families, right. and then we take it out of our house to the next house, and we become a stronger community. Absolutely. What's happening is no. We are people that just don't care, and I don't mind my business, which means I don't care what you do over there. Now, my whole thing is, to some things, to some degree, you're right. If you over there arguing, my whole thing is, I'm staying out of it. Right. That's your argument. Right. If it gets physical. Now, unless you hit him. No, I, I said physical. That's not my business. Now, right. If it gets physical, it's a little it's different, especially if it's outside in the public's eye. Yeah. In the house, what I hear a bunch of yelling. When it's, you know, bunch of yelling. I can't tell if you're hitting or not. If it's a bunch of yelling, guess what? I don't know what happened over there. Right. I'm not going to go knocking at the door trying to act like I'm Popo. Right. Some things you do need to watch because you don't know what's going on. It's, it's in the house. Right. That's there. Now, screams, shots, it's something different. But when I'm talking about arguing, you can tell maybe some cheating might have went on and she, she giving him hell. Right. I'm out of it. You know why? That's y'all business. I don't know what happened. I, I can't just jump into that. Absolutely. You outside in the front lawn and... You welling on her like no tomorrow, you put yourself in public display. Right. Now, at that point, we have to save lives mm -hmm. because people get killed all the time. Right. I don't want to see nobody die underneath other man's hands because of the fact it's out in the public. I'm not saying just do it inside your house, right. just make it justified. No, I'm just saying people are so blatant now. I can just beat you wherever. Some things you need to control yourself. I feel like if you really want to control her, you don't got to hit her. Right. Talk to her. And if she ain't listening to you, then oh, leave, her. leave her. Yeah. Do not feel like you got to beat her because you're a man. That makes you a coward to me. Right. You just do that on oh. the physical size. Yeah. I say, be can a stronger man. Can I give some more game right now? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Please do What you got? All right. Tell us man. Some of y'all cornballs out there really think you got to hit your email and messages. So wrong, yeah. so 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 cowardly wrong. Yes. Now real talk, a true pimp, and I, I take that word and you take it any way you want to. But a true pimp, we don't gotta put hands on females. It's just a matter how you talk to a female. When you tell her, baby, you become rock with a dude like me, and I'm a goddamn take you to the moon, and we gonna land back on the stars, and we gonna take over the whole world. You just keep doing what you're doing out this car. See, if I got you in your head. I can have you doing a lot of things, and a woman is more loyal than a man will ever be. So I'm gonna take her, I'm gonna take her every day of the week, and I'm gonna try to build on her character. Mm. But I'm never gonna put my hands on her because the minute I put my hands on her, I'm making myself weak. Right. I'm showing my own weakness about things that bother me. Right. I'm showing my own insecurity. That makes me less of a man. Right. It don't make me feel good if I'm 225 pounds and I'm hitting on the female that's 160. Right. You don't pay to see Mayweather fight uh, John Cena. It's just that I'm not in the same class. You right. a cornball if you ever have to put your hands on your female. Right. So However, I ain't saying there ain't some females that don't be asking for it. You I will shake them. Right by the shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> I will shake them. Don't even grab them. I will shake them. Don't break their neck or nothing, but you shake them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do not shake them. We are not going to lose it. Yeah. I need it. We are not going to lose it. I need 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 it. I that you know your, your your boy's girl is cheating, or you discover some. So what do you do when you discover that your girl might be cheating? How do you deal with that? Easy, leave. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that easy. Okay, easy, leave. Oh, uh, <laughs> you gotta say that. Right. Right. Guys, if your girl cheats, uh, you got two options. You can cry about it, and I will laugh. I promise I will. Or you can get over it. It's either or. Okay. Now, more than likely, if she's cheating, you ain't doing something right, or if you're listening to Bar Talk with Jay, you ain't been taking the game to be impressed. Right. But it's your fault. Say it loud. And At I'm that right. point, it is all your fault. You can't say nothing because Catherine told you every Thursday between 7 and 9 o'clock, and this is how you watch the game. If right. y'all take them off from it, that's your fault. Just right. period. Right. Now, 
Cheating is a deal breaker. It can be. But that's can the be. A discussion that y'all have to have. Right. It's not one for me to say what you should do. Right. Mm -hmm. If you have a dialogue, and one of the things that I want to tell you that cause a lot of marriages and relationships to fail is negativity. You speak negative words into this as in, if you cheat, I'll leave you. Do you understand no. when you start saying certain things, it automatically manifests to a point where I feel if these things happen, you you let me know that I always got to go for another plan. My whole thing is I don't like these things. Oh, don't get me wrong. I, I speak my mind. I don't want these things to happen. But when you start saying about leaving and quitting, okay, I'm just letting you know a lot of times people look at that as a way out because bottom line, if I tell a woman, if you cheat on me, I'm out. Okay, now to her, you've been doing that for the longest, but now if I do it, you're going to leave me. So again, if you keep doing it, I might as well start setting my nest egg to the side because you set me up. Right. And this is what happens when we run our mouths. Hang on, just saying, when we run our mouths a lot of times, and again, this is not what men want. Men have egos. Yeah. Their egos get hurt real hard when certain things happen, but you are blatantly hurting her. And then you expect her to not to hurt you. My whole thing is, she's setting you up. It's an easy setup because you're allowing it. Now, I ain't saying for all. Just listen. It's easy to debate. Debate with your own. Don't debate with me. I don't want to debate with you. I don't know what you do. And guess what? I do care. I care enough to put some things out there to have a conversation with the one you love to keep things from happening in your home. Because the bottom line, yeah, we, can, we can argue and argue is feelings, right? I don't know. But the whole thing of what my conversation is about is can we have conversations and a dialogue with the one we love to keep some negativity out? I like if that. I love okay. her okay. and I care for her, have positive reinforcement for the one you love. Negativity is not always a great source right. to start with now ahead, however Dad. you want it is how you deliver conversations need to be delivered in a positive manner yeah when you're a positive person want positive results it's not going to manifest from the most negative things that are happening to you your negative is not going to always be a person's positive it is for you to learn from right all our pains is for you to make better decisions but you cannot conflict that to another person <clears throat> thinking that they're going to get better off of your mistakes. Yeah, what, what you that got, what you got, Phil? We're almost out of time. I don't think cheating is a deal breaker. I think the deal breaker that everyone has is communication. Right. Because 
if you communicate and you can effectively communicate, you can work through anything. And let me tell you, what, what we all need to see on the other side of that equation is some form of remorse. Some form of, I, I apologize, I'm sorry. And if, if I can see that you are genuine about it, then it's, it's easier to forgive. You. I can yeah. work with you. But if you're still coming with lies and you're still not recognizing the truth and you're still playing games, then I it's time to it's time to fire you and, uh, yeah. and, and use my resources elsewhere. So um, listen, folks, we are out of time. Man, out. And uh, I just want to thank you, Jamal, uh, Brother Phil, for being in the studio with us. Big Rock. And uh, Smooth J, you always do your thing. Man. Man. Yeah, man. So, um, uh, folks, th again, this is Bar Talk with Jay. This is what we do. We go in on yes. subjects that uh, may be happen happening under the surface of life, but they're real, and uh, you got to figure out how to deal with it. So what do you do? If you catch your, uh, your, your, your best friend's girlfriend or your best friend's man out cheating, you got to figure it out for yourself. Mm -hmm. Having this kind of dialogue in your living room with your family, your friends, your significant other, your spouse is what we're intending you to do. Uh, this is all about dialogue, and dialogue heals lives and it opens hearts and opens hey. minds. So uh, with that, uh, I think it's just about time to chime out. We out, bro. We out. Ain't no last calls here. Bar Talk with Jay.